Okay, still homesick. Leia brought me this great Chinese rice porridge. This is like Chinese chicken soup. And, uh-oh. Whatever that is, I'm supposed to eat it. It comes with these crullers. They're basically donuts. Let me show you a full size one. And this is really good. You eat it hot and it soothes the soul. What? Okay, it soothes the soul just like chicken noodle soup does. It's great stuff. I almost like it more than chicken noodle soup. I feel like I'm just melting out of my face. I wanted to still make a video though for today. And I figured the easiest thing I can do is just talk to you guys about my favorite YouTubers. The, the people that I watch most often than not. Uh, the people I watch daily. There are a couple that I watch daily. And, you know, there's just... <laughs> YouTube's awesome because you can get anything you want. As much as there's people whose lives I think I kind of follow through the posting in their videos. There's tons of people who just solve my problems via one-off, you know, Google searches that lead to a video that show me exactly what I need. And those are great. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to hit all those. But let's go in and look at a couple of the ones that I think are the best YouTube channels uh, that, that you should be checking out. So the first channel I really like is Jay Townsend and Sons. And the reason why I like them is you can kind of put them on TV or put them on the TV. And my wife and I'll sit down and watch them, and she really gets into them because it's a it's like a cooking channel using 18th century cooking practices. Something like it's almost like a dead art, and they go through these very painstaking methods uh, or of research to find these old recipes, and then they make these videos uh, for YouTube, and they're really cool. They also have a website in which they sell a lot of the equipment. I'm not affiliated with them, but I've been to their website, and it looks really cool. So second is Matt 3756. Probably the weirdest recommendation I'm gonna I'm gonna mention, uh, particularly from the followers that, that watch my channel. Matt goes to arcades and he plays arcade games. He got his kind of like start with uh, claw machine videos. Amazingly popular. I don't know why I like him so much. I think he makes funny videos. He's uh, he's constantly uploading content, and there's something about you know when I'm doing something in the background, just putting up one of his arcade videos. The one you saw was a coin pusher video. I just like watching it. I, I grew up in arcades as a kid, particularly like I love coin pushers. I, I loved uh, anything arcade game related. I was I was always into playing arcades and. and going to arcades as a kid, so. Next on the list, number three, Tex Grebner Outdoors. He's obviously a friend of mine. You know, he's been on a couple of the vlogs. I was a, a subscriber to him before I ever met him, and that was years ago, but he posts interesting things, not exactly in my bailiwick of, of shooting and, and survival type videos, but I do like his archery stuff. I, I really like his fishing videos. I'm a big fisherman. So i got to put out a recommendation for Tex. Little on the weird side, but that's Tex Grebner, and, and that's exactly why you watch him. It gives his own personal take on, on what he's doing, and, and I, I enjoy watching it. Also, this is the I hope this is his big season where he lands a lands a deer during the, uh, the, during the archery season in Illinois, right? Yeah, Illinois bow season. So the next channel is The Armored Skeptic, and he also has another uh, channel called The Armored Armored Media. I mainly watch The Armored Skeptic. These next two channels are going to be more atheist-focused, so if you're not into that, that's fine. It's not a big deal, but he has really good videography skills, so I would check him out. I think his videos are hilarious. His animations and edits that he does, really, really good stuff, and his commentary is also really, really strong, so. Okay, so... Atheist number two, and the last atheist, uh, is Jacqueline Glenn, or Jacqueline Vlogs. She also has an interesting perspective, and she's a little more confrontational than, uh, than some atheists are. Much to everyone's kind of disagreement, atheists actually don't go out there and, and proselytize that hard. Uh, there are videos of it, but it's not that common of a thing, and she's a little bit more heavy down that, that road. So some of you may not like it, but that's just what I'm watching. And then, of course, is the man who requires no introduction. That's Cutlery Lover. Cutlery Lover is like YouTube uh, nobility. So I don't really have to say anything about Cutlery Lover. I always watch his stuff when he posts it. And he has been a cool friend of mine. Uh, more of an acquaintance. I, I don't know that he'd call me a friend on YouTube for a little while. So got to give him a shout out, too. 
someone who you probably aren't following but should be is Suge Emery. Suge Emery is an outdoorsman. He's a juggler. He's a singer and performer and also a, a control line flying hobbyist. He is a very, very, very interesting dude. Probably one of the interesting, most interesting characters that I have seen on YouTube. So if you're not watching him, you totally should be. He's amazing. From the libertarian angle, I follow Learn Liberty. Learn Liberty produces amazing videos that are highly informative with professors of economics, professors of, of different areas, covering all things. They make videos from everything on why the NRA is so powerful and popular and why the minimum wage actually hurts people who make minimum wage as far as increases go. Great, great channel. Lots of good stuff. I link to them a lot when there's a political argument because I think that understanding the point of view from a liberty angle, a libertarian angle is more important than just smashing each other in the face with talking points. Another person who I don't think, I mean, he's popular, but a lot of people don't really know who he is, is Wrangler Star. And he, Cody Wrangler Star, formerly Wrangler Barn, does really good videos about homesteading. He's up in Oregon and He's producing newer content and he's getting better and better all the time. His stuff is, his production value has gone way up. He got a bunch of new cameras. Looks really, really good. So, big shout out to him. Uh, he is one of the reasons why I started vlogging. And that's to do with this last recommendation. So, this last recommendation, probably most of you I think have heard about him now, is Casey Neistat. I heard of Casey Neistat through Wrangler Star. And purely on force of, I don't know, of, of his his inspirational type character, I decided to start vlogging. And that is uh, somebody I watch daily, Casey. His vlogs are totally an inspiration. His life's an inspiration in a lot of ways. So without a doubt, he is the number one guy you should be watching. And hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I still feel like crap. So sorry, this is a short video, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, take it easy. Thank you.